guys, welcome back to Demon Souls. I am recording this after I finish uploading the last video. Um, I watched the first video that I uploaded just to get some like insight on the recording and everything. Um, I did lower my volume in game to try and make my voice, you know, come out a little more because I could tell that the music and sound effects in the game were kind of making it hard to hear me. So I did adjust that a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I also noticed that the quality of the video was like stuck at 300 or 360p, um, <clears throat> which is kind of bad, but I am almost positive that that's like a thing on YouTube's end with like processing the video because I am recording these with the broadcast function of the PlayStation 5. Um, I know a capture card would probably be more efficient, but I have seen people record uh, Demon Souls playthroughs with the broadcast function before, and it looks fine on their end, so I see no reason why it shouldn't be fine on my end either. Um, I think it's probably just something to do with like YouTube processing the video, and I think it probably just takes a little bit for the quality to get better after YouTube fully processes the video. I don't know. I don't really know what goes into it. <clears throat> I suppose I could also like stream this playthrough. That would also be more efficient. The problem is, is that it would be a lot. Uh, more cut up and jumbly because my internet is shit <laughs> and I don't know if I would be able to record for very long or stream for very long without my internet going out so that's sort of an issue um, so yeah uh, since the last with all that out of the way, since the last part, I did go talk to the Monumental and accepted her mission. I put away my bow and arrows. I did some more inventory management. Um, <clears throat> and I still have my du Deluxe Edition souls, so I'm going to use those now. As you can see, like I said, you only get like 25,000 souls for it. So we'll see. Just how many level ups we can get from all of that. 13 level ups is how many we can get. It's actually more than I thought. <laughs> so I think we'll probably do. Yeah, we'll do this. In case you're wondering why I'm upgrading my strength so much, is because <clears throat> the Ucha Katana requires 18 strength. Um, I have no idea why it requires 18 strength. It's a dex weapon, but yeah. We're going to put a little bit of souls into my vitality as well so that I can stay alive a little longer. And now we have all the art stones open to us, so we're going to head into the Shrine of Storms because I would like to get the Uchi Katana as fast as possible. The sooner I can get it, the sooner I can, you know, kick some ass. Unfortunately, this is World 4, so... It is not going to be easy to get to the Uchi Katana. Honestly, I could probably just bum rush to it. But, like, I don't want to get too many enemies on me. Alright, Shrine of Storms looks so fucking good on the PS5, honestly. This is why more games need to be remade. This world is like living proof of that. 
Uh, people always say, like, oh, we'd rather have new games than remade games, but I disagree. I think remade games are just as good as new games. It recaptures that element of nostalgia. And it makes you really appreciate what the game originally was. Which is why you go back to the original game. Unfortunately, in the case of Demon Souls, you'd need like a PS3 to do that. <laughs> or an emulator, but... You need a really powerful PC to run a PS3 emulator, probably. So yeah, we're just gonna spend... Probably like... I don't know how long it's going to take yet, because we just started playing. I'm going to say it'll probably take like half of this episode just to get the Uchigatana. Because I don't know if I'm going to die or, or what I'm going to have to do to get to it. Because <clears throat> I'll be honest, I don't really know exactly where the Uchigatana is. I did Google it, and it basically said that it was past the Vanguard Demon. But it doesn't say where it was past the Vanguard Demon, so... You know, there's Achilles. I'm pretty sure that's slightly better. Yeah. That does, like, ten extra damage than the Scimitar, but... Damn, those stingrays are loud. I think I'm just gonna run past it. Oh, there it is. Okay. That wasn't actually too bad. This will not over-encumber me. As you can see, yeah, it requires 18 strength, but look at that damage. According to the wiki, it's also the only katana weapon that doesn't damage you when you use it. On top of all that, it also inflicts bleed, so it's fucking great. What's the... Oh, it's got a decent amount of durability, too. In the other Souls games, it's kind of a... In the other Souls games, the Uchigatana is... Might as well be like a shard of glass with how fucking fragile it is. It breaks constantly. Um, I don't know if we should take down the Adjudicator, or if we should save him for later. The Adjudicator is a very easy boss, but my only issue is, like, getting to him without dying. Because most of the enemies in this level are going to basically two-shot me. Hmm. The advantage to killing Adjudicator early is that I could get a soul farming spot very early on. Dang, now I can three hit him. That's awesome. It's like a horizontal slash when you one-hand it. That's not too bad. Yeah. If you kill the Grim Reaper in the room... Right after you fight Adjudicator, you can get, like, three or four thousand souls from killing him. And then just run back up and respawn the room and repeat. You can get, like, probably over a hundred thousand souls an hour doing that. shit. But I have an idea. You guys might not be too happy about what I'm going to do, but... I, and I'm sorry if you feel that way. Oh, 
I'm gonna die. Never mind. Crescent Moon Grass is really good to use when you're missing a lot of health, but you're not in danger. Uh, why use... Why use a good healing item when you're out of danger, when you could use a useless healing item and just get back to full health <laughs> with no risk? That's how I see it anyway. I digress. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade my stamina <laughs> later on. I can see this being kind of annoying. You can beat that dart trap if you run fast enough. By the way. Oh, I forgot, that overhead attack takes, like, all of your stamina with one hit. Ow. Go away. I'm trying to heal myself. This is why World 4 is probably a bad idea. When you're doing a new playthrough. There's an easy way to get to Adjudicator without going through the whole level. Oh, that's the backstab animation. I didn't even intend to do that. But anyway. Yeah, there's a trick to getting to Adjudicator in, like, fucking five seconds. Um, and since I'm, like, such a glass cannon right now, I don't really feel like going through all that bullshit over there. So I'm just gonna do the trick. So what you want to do is come up here, stand right here on this corner, and then roll. And you can make it on top of this wall. And then just drop down onto this side of the fence. Or generator's ring, that's a really good ring. You can get a crystal lizard while you do this too. Very useful little guys that give you upgrade materials. I think this one in particular just gives you like marrow stone or something. Oh, moonshade stone, okay. I'm gonna get some more cloud stone and then right through this doorway here and through that doorway is where the boss is so yeah like you can get to the boss in no time if you just do that little speed running strat um, pretty much everyone who's ever played like the original game already knows about it because it was like a very popular thing back then for speed running. And then right there you can get the grave robber's ring. That's very useful if you get like pure black world tendency because pure black world tendency will make red phantom spawn more often and that ring will that ring is basically like the thief ring but for red phantoms. We're going to use regenerator's ring during this fight by the way. I don't know if it'll save us. That guy always does, like, a floating slash attack. I do no damage to him, so I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Bye. And here we go, the Adjudicator. One of my favorite bosses in this game. Pretty easy. Just gotta hit him in this part, make him fall over.
Oh god. Yeah, when he falls over, you smack the bird, and that's what damages him. Because the adjudicator is a bird. Controlling a fat puppet. This boss fight might be a little tedious. He's got to hit this over and over. Also, I'm, I'm purposefully doing this slow because I have very little health and I'm pretty sure he can one hit me if he hits me. So I'm just trying to avoid that. Because if he one-shots me, I have to redo all of this. One more should do it. Oh my god. This fucking camera. It's not the best. I apologize. But I am trying not to die here. Should be adjudicator. Oh no! Shit! <laughs> if I didn't get rid of my fucking throwing knives, I could kill him right now. Or my bow for that matter. Well, I guess I'll do this again. Just don't get greedy in your way. Alright. Peace. <laughs> I like how he makes a little squawk sound after you kill him. Like, Meep! Like killing a bird in real life. Except... <laughs> not that I would know, of course. Because I don't kill birds. I'm not a fucking psycho. Anyway. We got a bunch more souls to use now. I don't know if I'm going to use the boss souls for anything. Yet. Since I do want to make a dex build kind of pointless to use boss weapons since I don't know if I don't know of any boss weapons that use yeah I don't know of any boss weapons that use deck scaling but I digress maybe consider it later maybe not we'll see I'm gonna get some more endurance. With most of my souls. I just want to be able to swing my Uchi Katana more. I can swing it three times now. When I two hand it. I can swing it. Five times. If I one hand it. Alright, cool. I guess there's no point in two-handing it since it gets very little strength scaling. You're just lucky. The only reason I use... The only reason I will two-hand weapons, even if I get no benefit from it, is because I like the moveset of the two-handed weapon. Alright, we need more sharp stone to get that, so... Yeah, we beat Adjudicator already. I just wanted to get the Uchi Katana. I suppose next we'll take on the smithing grounds. We're already approaching 20 minutes recording time, so... I think I'll probably try to get to, like, the shortcut. The first shortcut, and then we'll call it quits there. Oh, if that were Sharpstone, I could have upgraded my Uchi Katana again. Okay, so, the Uchi Katana does have a thrust attack, but it's very 
takes a while to use it. Ow. Ow, shit. <laughs> Now, these enemies are very weak to thrust attacks, as opposed to slashing attacks, so I don't think my Uchi Katana will be very effective on them. Oh! I can one-hit backstab them, at least. Alright, so I think what I'll probably do is try to ignore most of them. I'll kill the one with the pickaxe, because he's actually a threat. Um, I think I'll probably just ignore most of these guys, except for the guys with the bags, because they have upgrade materials. Dog. Doggo ambush. At least the dogs don't do much damage to me. That's nice. Oof. Oh, I bled him. Cool. Not that it really makes a difference. He takes like two damage every second. Oh god, that was a mistake. Yeah, that uh, those attacks do like no damage. You pretty much have to use thrust attacks to kill these guys. Because they don't really take any damage otherwise. Oh god. Let me see if I can parry one of these guys. Oh my god. I'll be honest, that is my first time parrying this enemy. Okay. That's my second time parrying this enemy. And so far it has a 100. I'm pretty sure the pickaxe is... Yeah, I think the pickaxe will probably do more damage to the enemies. Or these types of enemies. Obviously the Uchi Katana will kill this guy. But as for killing those other guys, I think using the pickaxe will be more effective. Oh, cool, the bleed damage killed him. Yeah. Noise. I am gonna drop down here because there's a lot of bag holding dudes like this guy. Give me an ass load of sharp stone. Probably upgrade my Uchi Katana couple more times before I fight the armor spider. <laughs> Never seen the repost animation for the pickaxe before. That's kinda cool. I'm not really using my shield in this area is because these guys don't do a whole lot of damage. I didn't mean to use the backstab animation because the pickaxe's backstab animation is atrocious. It's literally like a six second long animation. I don't know why it has to be that long, but... Whatever. 
It was probably in the original game too. Or no, in the in the original Demon Souls, the back I think all the backstab animations were the same. Yeah. I think there's a bag holding guy in here too. Yep, this guy. God damn it, I didn't need to do that again. Oh well. There we go, four sharp stone, four hard stone. It's useful shit. Where am I going? Okay. Yeah, Armor Spider is one of my actually is actually one of my least favorite bosses. Um, not because I don't like his design, but because his attack pattern is very monotonous and tedious. Like. The fact that they made it so he's only safe to attack for like two different times in the fight. Like unless you unless you're using like a mage build or a spellcaster character. If you're if you're only using like melee, then there's only like two times in the entire fight that he's safe to attack. And then every time you finish the second attack cycle, he'll use his like fire breath attack. And then it just resets, basically, so... On your first playthrough, the most amount of damage you can do to him on the melee build... ...per attack cycle is, like, one quarter of his health. So it's a very tedious... ...very, very tedious fight. His design is cool. He has very cool attacks, but, like, his attack patterns are just very... Annoying, I guess. Alrighty. What? Hammer? That's a rare drop from the hammer wielding miners. That is a very rare drop. Can't believe I got that <laughs> on my first fucking kill. I'm not even using the providential ring right now. Anyway. There's the shortcut. Unlocked. And yeah. I think we'll probably get the video here. By the blacksmith man. And, uh, as always, thanks a bunch for watching, guys. Uh, yeah. I appreciate all the support so far. If I'm getting any, I don't really know. Because I'm probably going to start recording these in advance. But, nevertheless, I appreciate all the support so far. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys next time.